What's going on, guys? How are you? I hope you're doing well out there. Welcome to If You Can Send Me. I appreciate you guys for stopping by here with me today. It is Sunday, February the 19th, 2023, and it's 11.21 p.m., guys. Just got finished doing hair. I said, oh my gosh, it's not 12 o'clock. Let me go do this reading. So yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you guys all had a wonderful, beautiful day. It's Sunday. So let's get this party started. If you've never been here before, um, I do Oracle Index and three decks, okay? And I appreciate every single last one of you guys for helping me and this channel advance. Thank you guys so much. So I want to take this deck, okay? And get a quick and simple here message. And then interesting shungite. And it's supposed to be shungite there. Interesting. <clears throat> First thing I saw, and I was like, did I say shungite? I just bought that thing like a couple days ago. However, the case. Well, let's see what comes out. <laughs> if that comes out, I'm going to laugh. Okay, so Sunday. My day was heck of busy at work today. Almost did 12 hours. Almost. And oh my gosh. Ooh. That's all I could say. <laughs> then got home and had to go get some water from the little water dispenser thing machine. We'll get a couple things from the grocery store. <clears throat> Came in, put that stuff up, and then did my daughter's hair, and now I'm here. So yeah, it never stops. Even when I go to sleep, no, it never stops. <laughs> I'm doing stuff in my dreams too. Non stop movement. Okay. All right. One more time. All right. All right. Let's see what we get. Oh, wait, now. Was that one already flipped over? Did it flip over? It says open the door. Okay. Well, let's. I don't know. I didn't see it. It just. All right, find peace within. All right, find peace within. Find peace within. And it says here, fluorite. Very pretty. Peace is not something you find out there. It comes from within. There's no need to wait for the whirlwind of life to stand still, and you don't even need to reach internal stillness to tap into it. Peace means the acceptance of your circumstances and the conviction of your beliefs. You can act and find solace when you are at peace with your decisions, by choosing peace, you can tune out external disturbances and embrace a calmer state of being so you can go about your daily life and confront any challenges. <laughs> it says here, core questions. What allows you to tap into a state of inner peace? What does peace look like for you? How can you show up to life from a state of peace? Mm. Yeah, peace. Not letting things agitate you, irritate you, disturb you. You know, the whole loose uh, uh, everything, right? All right. So let's get our little trusty index cards here see what comes out for us today okay 
Alright, let's get the second set. Shift through here so we can get on with this read and figure out what this here find peace within is trying to say. Tuning out basically the outside realm of things, you know? Like I said, you know, it's not about out, what's out there, it's what's inside. You know, what, what makes you happy? What makes you feel like you are in a state of solace? In a state of, um, tranquilness you know I'm too done with, I'm about to take this damn nail polish off I always try to touch it up and then like oh my gosh yeah I'm always doing something so it's so like I can never sit still long enough for them to dry like I'm running out of time I need to do this video oh well I'm about to take it off and start over with a different color. Now you guys are like, this chick and her dang on nails situation. Yes, guys, my nails. Anyway, not worried about it right now. I just noticed some of it, I guess, it wasn't all the way dry like I thought it was. I saw some of it pushed back like, oh, great. I'm just glad I don't go to the shop like I used to. I'd be very upset. I have to sit there and wait for them to dry. And even back then when I used to go to the nail shop, even then, I was like, I'm like always in a rush. Like, I got to get out of here. I got to go do something else. Like, they're drying up. I'll touch it up later. Like, I always have a million things to do. <laughs> All right, the day just isn't that we're long enough. <laughs> Unless I'm working, like, you know. Then the day is long, just uh, long and drawn out. But when you're trying to do things that you want to do, it's never long enough, you know. <laughs> That's funny. All right, here we go, guys. Thank you for being patient with me. Let me do that one more time. Please never. There. Let's see what we get. Find peace within. What brings you peace? Mm -hmm. One more time. Something is too good to be true.
Okay, let's see. Mm. Oh, my dogs. Mm, 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 right. Every time. Never fail. Oh, okay. Maybe your dad is significant. Are you thinking about your dad? have with the last little set here so we can get to this here reading appreciate you guys okay, one more time. Representative of the most high only. So, guys, we have the first card out. It says Paris, France. Maybe you're thinking of going to Paris or you're watching from Paris or you want to go to Paris or something like that. Very responsible. Very responsible. Powerful words were said. Commitment coming. Listen to dance hall music a lot. Maybe that's where you find peace, listening to music. Something is a perfect picture. Accepting the process. Maybe you drive a Corvette. Or would like to drive a Corvette. You're physically strong. 
you work out a lot. All I want to do is have some fun. I got a feeling I'm not the only one. That's Cheryl Crow. Um, reconsider a situation. Maybe you drive for Uber or Postmates or DoorDash. You need some me time. What do we do? There's that card again. I'm going to try to remember to pull the last card. Okay. From that little small bag over there. And we have Earth Angel. Yeah, I'm going to put this here. Okay. So. We love R&B music. Someone's name starts with the letter N, middle or last also. It says, share your light. You have peace, or you, you know how to find inner peace. So maybe you could tell others or show others how to find it, and help them navigate. Someone's all in their feelings. All you have to do is believe. Believe in the powers that be. And let the rest be. <laughs> All right. I once had a patient tell me that once. She said, why are you here? I said, you know why I'm here. I'm here to take care of you. I was a hospice aide, a home health aide. And she she, she was like one of my favorites. And um, she, and it was getting close to that time. And she said, why are you here? I looked at her and said, you know why I'm here. And she said, yeah, but why can't you just be? Why can't we just be? And I was, I looked out her window. She lived up like on this hill. It was just like, you could see all LA's freeways from her house and everything. And I was like, man, I don't know why we can't just be, you know, like we're here on this planet. I got to work <laughs> out here. Um, best friend, but being able to find a, a sense of peace you know, in your everyday life and no matter what you do, you know, just allowing things to be, okay, whatever they are, right? Somebody is all in your business, tell them to mind their own. Someone's name starts with the letter U, middle or last, maybe your mom <laughs> or your mom is significant. Someone's name starts with the letter Q. I have N-U-Q. You're a master teacher. Yeah, tell someone how you got to that level. Help other people. It's now or never. Or maybe you're learning from a master teacher or something like that. Riding bikes or motorcycles. Maybe you enjoy riding bikes. Someone's name starts with the letter G. I got your back. Good and bad. Someone is an author. They are insensitive. Someone's name starts with the letter N. I have that twice. Nancy, Nelson, Nadia, um, Neil. I don't know. Too many names. Um, time to relocate, Nikki. You're um, not your usual type. God-given gifts. Works in retail. Autumn time. I've been looking for you, haven't you heard? Uh, that's Patrice Russian. You love the water, beaches, lakes, pools, anything. Continue to climb the ladder. You're almost there. Reevaluate the scenario. Don't trust everyone or it or them or just, you know, evaluate. Reevaluate the scenario. 
They love you. Don't worry if it hasn't been said yet. Meditation is vital. Okay. During that me time. All right. Blessings upon blessings. Beautiful. You're very independent. I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-N-T. Did I spell it right? Do you know what that means? Uh, real low key. Not a lot of friends. Somebody is struggling to release something, someone. Tapping into great energy. And here, smooth sailing from here because you're balanced. You've done all your meditating and found your inner peace and you're not letting anything get to you. You turn on your music and you dance for 30 minutes. You exercise in the morning. You eat well and so on and so forth. So, guys. Hmm. Let's go with the night. Guardian of the night, girl. It's really late, so. I only pull from these when it's really late. So, um, I guess if it says night, or like if it's just full moon or something like that, like, it has a moon on it, wisdom, eagle, or whatever. It's an owl, it's an owl. Hmm. Oh lord, excuse me. <laughs> First set, guys. Appreciate you guys for being with me. If you're still here, thank you very much. You are Earth Angel. You're very responsible. Okay, you're physically strong. Master teacher. Maybe you're a mom. Or you're thinking of your mom or something of that nature. All right. Commitment is coming. You just believe. Blessings upon blessings. You're tapping into great energy. You listen to dance hall music a lot. All right. Maybe drive for Postmates, Uber, or DoorDash. It's a perfect picture. Maybe you're an author. Someone got your back, good and bad. Maybe it's your best friend during the autumn time. You just passed us. Okay, maybe you like riding bikes or motorcycles. You have God-given gifts. It's now or never. Someone's not your usual type, and maybe it's time to relocate. You love the waters. Continue to climb the ladder. You're almost there. Okay, share your light. Meditation is vital. Me time is important. You're accepting the process. It's smooth sailing from here. Someone's all in their feelings. Okay, don't trust everyone. I said maybe work in retail. Maybe I did. Powerful words were said. They love you. Don't worry if it hasn't been said. I've been looking for you. And all I want to do is have some fun. I got a feeling I'm not the only one. So you got to reconsider a situation and reevaluate the scenario. Well, similar. And uh, you're real low key. You don't have a whole lot of friends. Somebody's on your business. Someone is insensitive. You're very independent. Someone's struggling to release something. And maybe your name starts with the letter N, U, Q, or G. And uh, yeah, what do you do? So let's see. Maybe you're in also, maybe you're going to Paris, France, or you're watching from Paris, France, or something like that. And if you're watching from Paris, bonjour. <laughs> Je m'appelle what it do, lady. Je m'appelle officiellement, lady. <laughs> Hmm. All right. One more time. 
So I did see, I think it was the Knight of Cups in reverse, but I'm not going to search for it right now. But right now I see the Page of Cups at the bottom. So that is love, emotions, you know, some sort of offer, okay, um, possibly. You just, it's an emotion, you know, mm, of some sort, you know, maybe it's just a small thought of something, you know, you have mom and dad, you know, um, have best friend out here. And we're talking about finding peace within, you know, um, I don't know, maybe you want to go and Maybe you've just been thinking about your parents or something lately or something like that. You want to go visit your parents or something like that. Or it's a small cup of love that wants to come your way or someone wants to take you on a date or something like that. This for once. Uh, it's so shifty. It's not completely like this. I mean, it's only a couple little centimeters off. It's like this. And I really want to take it in reverse, okay? So, I'm not going to take it in reverse. So, a four one to reverse. That's about your foundation. So, it is time to find peace, okay? Excuse me, maybe you're in the middle of trying to accept things, reevaluating things, okay? Restructural, restructuring, restructuralizing. I don't know which word, how I'm trying to say that. You're trying to restructure, you know, your life, your outlook on life even though it says it's smooth sailing from here it's still you know you're still like working on some things you haven't got everything exactly to a T how you would like things to be but you're working on it and here's a grand, brand new beginning, something very powerful that's here for you. It says blessings upon blessings. Okay. So maybe you'll, you'll, you'll land something that you've been trying to do for some time. Because you now learned how to balance out things a little bit better and found some inner peace, and so your energy is leveled and your frequency is high, so things are going to start falling into place for you the right way because your energies are aligned properly. I knew I saw it in reverse, but I only need one card. That's two. So, yeah, you're very focused on the future of things. You know, so you are accepting this process and doing what's required of you in this here process and walking away from something that had you in your mind wrapping around this situation or problem for 
for some time that has something to do with your stability. And you literally had to like check yourself and snap out of it and that's I that's that's where I'm guessing this is where it started, this whole find your inner peace or find your peace within. It's like when you realize that your foundation and things just weren't going right and you seem maybe like scattered all over the place, you know, and like you you had no like not even a little bit of control over it, you know. So it was just like, you know, I need to reevaluate this scenario called my life. You know, I need to focus. I need to, you know, refocus, restructure because things are not going right. You know, I need to focus more on myself, you know, more self-care, more this, more that, you know, align myself, align my day, you know, all of those things. Okay. And uh, focus on what is important and what you really want out of life. So you walked away from allowing this worry to take over. And I guess you really snapped out of it and told yourself that uh you were going to get this right so here you have the hermit in reverse so the, like i said you were in this space uh already you know just every day you know just thinking overthinking tripping out on things and I guess that's you know you were already in that hermit space okay so now it's, it's like after you decide to walk away you came out of the hermit space you know like I said you realigning yourself talking praying meditating you know figuring out what was unbalanced and how it could get back in line how you get back in sync and get your frequency back high and um, allow those good things to come in for you because now you're ready for them and not all over the place, okay? So I am glad that you found it, okay? So yes, it is smooth sailing from here because you tapped into uh, your light. And that's why I said share your light. You found your light again, you know, like, you know, your torch holding your torch to lead you forward into the future, into your future days, you know, you know how to move. So here you have the King of Cups. So you're very uh, loving individual. You love hard. And see, so this time it fell out. And uh, I don't want to take it in reverse. And I'm not going to. So now it's the Ace of Swords. And it's like you found the clarity now. And you know where you're moving and how you're moving. You know how you're moving. And you know, you know which direction you're going. You're moving forward, but you know how you're moving now in the process of moving forward, you know, like you, you're, you're more balanced, you know. Eight of Wands, and now things, like I said, right, are starting to move now for you because you, you took the time to recalibrate. You needed to sit down and you know, take a couple baths, think about some things, you know, think about even, you know, way back, you know, when, you know, when your mom and your dad are together, you know, uh, just thinking about different things, you know, things that 
you know, you liked about your childhood or your parents and the way they raised you or their relationship, things that you don't want to do, things that you, you know, just thinking about different things. I don't know. I just said meditation. Meditation, you know, you think about a lot of different things. But, <clears throat> you know, just bringing peace and, you know, whatever that really is for anyone, you know, it's, it's different for everyone, you know. It can, it can be as simple as playing music every day um, at the beginning of the day and having a good dance and a good cup of coffee or energy drink or, you know, smooth, you know, vegetable fruit smoothie or, I don't know, prayer. It could be different for a lot of different people, but it does take a couple of good days of real meditation. It just doesn't happen in the snap of a finger. You know, you really have to sit and think about life. You know, and what you're trying to do with life, how much time you have, where you're going to allocate, you know, this, that, and this, and how it's going to fit in. And if it doesn't fit in, okay, am I good? Am I not good? You know, it takes a lot of planning. You know, that's what the two of ones, you know, you looking, your focus, you know. So, um, yeah, that was a 10 of ones. You're ready to put down. All of the things that just keep you way down. Like, you know, there's no purpose for those things. So here you have the tower, right? So, you guys, yes, that's exactly what happened. You know, your, your foundation, you realize that you didn't have what? Excuse me, you realize that you really didn't have a solid foundation. You didn't really have one to really stand firm in. And that was a problem. You know, and um, in terms of the, the tower, you know, it crumbled because you realize that it just needed to be rebuilt. You needed to refocus and reevaluate your priorities, you know, and um, instead of letting it take over your mind with worry and, you know, it was like, no, 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 we're not going to worry, you know, we're going to do this the right way, you know, we're going to look at what's going on and figure this out, you know, so you being this very beautiful individual here, um, you have here seven of cups falling on top of you being this king of cups. And so you have a lot of beautiful relationships in your life, you know, and maybe like I said, you, you probably try to take care of and spend time with a lot of people, but realize they're important. But like I was saying at the beginning of the video, these days are so short, you know, you know, at work they're long, but you know, when you have free time and you're trying to spend time with everybody and do things that you enjoy doing, the day goes by so fast. Make sure that you're not burning yourself out, you know, and just do things in a, a way where you're not burning yourself out, really, you know, like everybody loves to be around you because you're such a loving and caring individual but make sure that you're giving yourself that same amount of time right you know so six of swords here in reverse So it says it's smooth sailing from here, but it's it's um excuse me guys, I'm really tired. <laughs> it's um it's smooth sailing from here, yes, 
but at the same time, it's still like in the process. You know, you have this card here accepting the process. So you're still, you know, working on it and things like that. Um, and things are a lot easier. Yes. Wow. So here you have the Empress. So, um, oh, and the sun. So I guess she was in one of those cups. You see someone that's, um, beautiful and, um, Just like um, sitting at the top of her game, doing things that uh, she's supposed to be doing here. And she shines very bright, or you shine very bright, or both of you guys shine very brightly. Okay. But, um,. Yeah, you're still in the midst of working on yourself. And here with that devil, be careful. Like I said, you're stretching, stretching yourself too thin, you know. Because, what you know, that devil energy will come in and find a way to, you know, aggravate you or get you all, you know, feeling like you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to do this, and, you know, rushing around, and, you know, things happen when you rush, and just take your, take your time, literally, Knight of Pentacles, just take your time, don't, like, literally, like, feel the energy, you know, get in the habit of that, too, feel the energy around you, if it's too chaotic, just take a breather and relax, and reevaluate you know it's about reevaluating what's important look like, like i said a priority you know so um all right guys i'm gonna take this deck next this is the second deck i appreciate you guys for being here with me Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys so much. So basically, I just see that you realize that you need to reevaluate the way that you do your daily uh, do your daily uh, Life is not the word I'm looking for. <laughs> uh, activities or just whatever. Um, whatever you do, however you do, it's just about reevaluating how you do it, okay? And, um, you know, prioritizing things and giving yourself time, you know. And don't rush, please. Because when you rush, it causes so many other issues. You know, you're only one person. You know, and if you feel like you are stretched that thin and there isn't anyone else to help you, well... Yes, that's why you're physically strong, okay? Like, okay, you can do this. But, you know, um, you know, like, with just things. Like, I, I keep going back to this mom and dad thing, you know, like. And I guess I'm going there. I'm going off of my own experience, you know. I have to take care of my mom, okay? Um, in her last days, it's a lot of work. Okay, well, I was already a home, a home health aide, you know, but it's a lot of work. 
And let's just say, for instance, you never had that type of experience or background work or whatever, you know, it's even more work, you know, and it can be tiring and things like that. And if you don't have anyone else to help you and say, for instance, you still have another job to go to, you know, like um, maybe it's set up like, you know, uh, a sibling or something, you know, stays in a day, and, you know, like you guys split shifts or something. You stay there with mom or, or dad or something at night and you do the night shift and you get up and go to work in the morning, you know, but you're there at night and, have to, you know, do the night care part, you know, and it, it's just, it can be a little hard, you know, and um, like I said, I just speak from experience, so I get it, you know, or maybe you have children, you have to take care of mom or both, you know, this is for, I mean, it could be for any age person, really, I mean, it doesn't always have to be for an older person, you know. Some younger people have situations, you know, where their parents, um, unfortunately, you know, are in situations where they need help also. So, you know, I understand, you know, but still, please find that time, even if it's in the shower. Sometimes that would be for me. That would be my only time to find peace was in the shower. When I had my shower time and me, the shower, the music and God, I prayed. And it was me and my music in the shower. <laughs> okay. And took that very serious because, you know, so many people are relying on me, you know, and I had to stay balanced and stay grounded and, knew, you know, had to know what I was doing these things for. I had to constantly remind myself, even though I knew what I was doing it for, you get tired. You get, you get tired, you know, like, oh my gosh, you know, like, no, you don't want them in a in a home. You if you know, I'm just saying this is an example. You know, I know you don't want to put them in a home because you know they don't get the same type of care. So you know, yeah, you're tired, but you know, it will do the same thing for you. Let's hope so, right? <laughs> so yeah, it's just about you know. That's all I see here is that you just have to restructure and rebalance and kind of. Um, bounce back, you know, and you do, and you did, you know, so, with that devil energy, that's just, you know, you're getting tired, you know, from all of what you have to do, and trying to throw you out of sync, you know, with yourself, or time, or energy, and, you know, just take a deep breath, seriously, one more time, and take your time. All right, here we go. Nine of Swords. So, what was this, eight? That was an eight. Constant thinking. And that constant thinking had you up at night, maybe sometimes caring about, you know, this foundation of yours and if it would ever be solid again or normal or, you know, would you ever get back on your feet and do the things that you need to do for yourself? Yes, you will definitely and you did, like I said, you 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 did. You did it already. You know, and for those who haven't, you will. Okay? You de definitely learned how to stay balanced. You know, taking a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And um, telling yourself, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Telling, my, telling yourself. <laughs> what was um necessary right so you had to lay down all those extra energies burdens and things that just didn't work okay and um just extra things that you were taking on extra things that you were feeling extra things 
that just were not good for you. Okay. Look at there. For all your hard work, okay? You will definitely be secure in your life. Okay? Because you are definitely this sun or the star. The angels are here with you. You're bright and shining. And the earth angel, the temperance, you know, the energy is good. Okay? Shine. Shine. Ace of Swords twice. You have a clarity. That's Ace of Swords there. Is Ace of Swords here falling the same spot. So at the bottom of the deck, I have Five of Cups. So that's what, yeah, you've been disappointed in love before. Maybe you lost a relationship or two in the past. Okay. And um, it is what it is. It's just getting you ready for this Empress. Okay. And um, I'm going to take the happy deck next because this is a good reading. And um, I just want you to uh, don't ever stop being who you are because you, you have a good heart, whoever you are. And you, you want to be there for people and you like to... You, you like to you like to be there you know um you're like a family person you know you want to see your people happy and you know you're just like a very helpful individual okay you have a big heart. And this is Alright. One more time. Alright. So here, I have the Queen of Pentacles, Comfort and Prosperity. So, uh, this here Empress, <laughs> she's a money maker. <laughs> <clears throat> or maybe you're working with someone that's um, prestige, has their money together. Oh, there you have a Six of Crystals, that's the Six of Pentacles. So, working hand in hand with that Empress and uh, making a, a different type of extension to your future. All right. Or some sort of project, working hand in hand with someone, the Queen of Pentacles, you know. They like your work, something like that. Oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> Let's go back with the first one. Two of shells, that's two of cups. So, now we're talking about love. Now it's like, get on this Empress tip. So, yeah, you're so focused and re, uh, recalibrated, all right? Yeah. So, eight of shells is eight of cups, and that's here. So, you walk away from, uh, you know, all, all the negativity that was going on. Ace of Swords three times. So, once you walked away, you were able to see. Clearly now the rain is gone. <laughs> okay. So, the devil energy not successful and he's not going to be successful ever Ooh. ever never ever ever never okay
because you're too strong for that. So here are three of shells in reverse. So right now, uh, I guess you're not. Mm, I guess you're not really in a relationship with this person just yet. Oh, my bad, guys. <laughs> that's my bad. That, that's why I was all hesitant, like, huh? <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is three of cups. My bad, it's not three of pentacles, it's shells. So, it's like, there's no third party or nothing there. It's just this one person that you see here in terms of relationships, okay? And then here, page of acorns is page of wands. And it says discovery, enthusiasm. So you found a whole brand new way to move. And you're in this, or you discovered a brand new way to move. And you're, you're so happy about it. And here is a six of shells. Once again, we get that like every day. So six of cups in this relationship made you feel so good and so, um, you know, like, it brought life into your life, you know, even more. It made you feel good or nostalgic or home-like or, you know, you could really connect with this person. So, I remember it now this time. So, I'm going to grab this little makeshift deck that I made from the other channel that I have. And um, let's see what card comes out here. So, I appreciate you guys for being here with me today on Oh, People Send Me, where I do daily reads for you. Come back and rock it with me anytime. I really do appreciate you guys. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, please. And thank you. And of course, only if you like. I appreciate it all. Here we go. We'll give you guys one more little card here. These are the What It Do cards. I pulled the What It Do on the index card so when I get what it do when I get this little card if you never been here before I pull from this little <laughs> this little makeshift deck alright let me do that one more time alright Man, the tower. <laughs> Don't laugh at my drawings. I... <laughs> so, you had a tower for sure. Oh, wow. King of Cups. You see the word king in there? Uh, king. King of Cups. So, yeah, you're the King of Cups. You had a tower. You have this big heart. And, you know, you had to rebalance yourself. King of Cups. Okay. So, yeah, you had the tower and what's at the bottom? Now things are completely balanced. Beautiful. That was awesome. Thank you guys so much. I'll be back tomorrow and uh, you guys have a good night and uh, thank you. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.